Hi, this is Wayne Belial with another Spart. Spart. <laughs> Hi, this is Wayne Belial with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. If this wasn't live, I would rewind and restart and get rid of that first one. But it is April, what is it, 12th? Yep, April 12th. Monday, tax day. Don't forget, get your tax turn in and get your extension filed. The penalty for not filing an extension or filing a return on a timely basis is 5% of what you owe. That can add up very, very fast. Also remember, the extension is not an extension of time to pay. If you think you're going to owe something, you should send something in with the extension. If not, understand it's going to cost you about 1% per month, so get it done quickly, as quick as you can, May, June, and don't let it go to October where you got 6% added on top. Today we're going to talk about the high cost of untrained employees, but before we do, I wanted to reintroduce myself a little bit better. My name is Wayne Belial. I'm the founder of a local CPA firm where we have been... Uh, where we specialize in small business owners, helping them with really three things. One, filing a tax return that doesn't get them audited as much as possible. Our audit percentage is well below national average. Second thing we do is we help them cut their tax bill legally. In the last three years alone, we've saved our clients $4.3 million, a little over that actually. And finally, the third thing we specialize in is profit maximizing, which is what this is. Our smart profit maximizing system is designed to jumpstart their profits. It's very simple as that, to take the company from where they're at and jump them to the next level. And to give them a tools, give them the tools to continuously improve their profits, all right? Today, we're gonna to talk about the high cost of unemployed, uh, unemployed, untrained employees, which if they're untrained, sooner or later, you're all gonna be unemployed. The typical small business owner really doesn't understand the high cost of, of not training their employees, okay? Um, they look at the time that it takes and they're busy and they need to go out and get customers. They gotta get the next check in because they gotta be payroll on Friday and training just kind of slips down the line. They know they need to do it, but they just never get to it. Um, one thing you can count on from poorly trained employees is they're gonna make mistakes. Look, everybody makes mistakes. It's one of the things I tell my, my employees, all right? If you only, only people who are not working don't make mistakes all right uh, but that doesn't mean it, what the problem with untrained employees is they're making more mistakes and more costly mistakes and the truth of the matter is you can almost count on them making the wrong mistake at the wrong time and remember yesterday's where I talked about losing customers the key to growing your business is keeping the customers you have and selling them more Untrained employees are getting you to lose your customers faster, okay? Spend the time, every study shows that spending the time on educating your employees helps, all right? And helps your bottom line. For a very modest sum, usually just your time, your employees can learn a new skill, build confidence, and boost productivity. productivity. Subsequently, you and your business benefit from happier and more productive employees. Go back, earlier this week I talked about why employees leave. Not training them is one of them. If they think they're learning new skills, they're likely to stay longer. The best training you can do, though, is making sure that your employees know how to run your systems. I've talked about systems before. When you have systems in place, you're no longer managing the employee. People are almost impossible to manage. We're crazy. We don't know. what. <laughs> From day to day, we're not the same. But systems remain the same. A system is, this is what we do when the customer calls. This is, what, this is how we get the work done to make sure that the customer gets what they hired us to do. What, the, what we told them we were gonna do, a system ensures that that happens, all right? I've discussed this before and I'm not gonna get into big detail, but understand, the key to training in, is to train on the system, all right? And to document that training and document the system so that you can sit down and hand it to somebody. Don't just train, make sure to test. Be sure that your clients know what they're, your clients, your employees know what they're doing. All right, test, review work, sample work. If they're meeting with customers on the phone, record some calls and listen. If they're talking to client customers that walk in the door, record some calls and listen. All right, stand there and watch them. Role play, all right. Don't forget to provide general training to all your employees. I was dealing with one of my clients and what they you know train their salespeople and all that but forgot to train their drivers who had the most interaction with their customers so we they spent a lot of time making sure they knew what they were doing in most businesses the person that has the most contact with the customer 
is the person who answers your phone. Make sure they know what's going on. Make sure they're included in the training so they know what your business is and that they can answer a lot of the questions. All right, they can. It's important. Rosemary is my, you know, I, I don't know what to call her, boss. <laughs> Somehow along the line, she's taken over, but that's because I've turned over more and more, and she's the type of person who's assumed more and more. That's important, all right? And she's learned. She's, she wants to know so that when a client asks questions, she can usually answer it, or she knows what needs to come to me. Get your rosemary. Find that person, all right? All employees need training, whether it's just shadowing an experienced employee for a few weeks or undergoing formal instruction. Don't skimp on this. All right, so how do you fix this? Well, I, I have put a little things in place. Go back and watch this again. It's short. It shouldn't take you very long. Review every area of your company and list all the areas where your employees should need training. Let's just talk about need training right now. Document the training. While you're doing the training, record it. All right, that way you can turn it over to new employees at any time. All right, prioritize the areas where your employees need the training, do them in the order, prepare the training, pre pre present and record the training. We already talked about that, and move on to the next thing on your prioritize list. Okay, look, when am I going to have time to do this? Remember, I told you I expect you to spend four hours per week improving your business. Employee training should be part of that four hours. All right, take a half hour, an hour every week, pick an area, train on it. All right. Hey, until the next time, I'm sorry this one's short, but tax, <laughs> tax season's ending and I'm buried. So until next time, this is Wayne Lyle saying let's make this our most profitable year ever.